Hi everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey. Today we're going to be doing a video I've never seen before and that's me talking about items in my closet that I would never ever donate, sell, or get rid of. Let me give credit real quick to the creator of this video, my dad. We're on vacation and he was like, why don't you do a video where you show things you'd never get rid of? And normally he comes up with dumb ideas, so... Thanks, Pop. Okay, but let's just get into it. It looks like I'm not wearing a shirt, but I promise I am. I don't know why I did this to myself. Since we were just talking about my dad, the first item I'm gonna show or clothing piece is actually something he gave to me. And they're these vintage Matsuda sunglasses. They're really freaking cool. So I think my dad said he got these when he was 30 or like 30 years ago. That's like the same. So they've been around for like 30 years and they're just really freaking cool. The details on these glasses are absolutely insane. Like on the nose bridge it has this insane carving. They're pretty small but to me they're not like the classic, you know, tiny sunglass trend that we saw like a couple years ago. I don't know, like they're very vintage looking but to me they're timeless. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They are my favorite sunglasses, my go-to ones I always reach for and I have a bigger head so it's weird that like a tiny pair of sunglasses like this looks good on me and my dad also has a big head so it's weird that these sunglasses look good on him. He doesn't wear contacts anymore, he just wears regular glasses so he gave them to me and I literally love them so much I will never ever ever get rid of them even if I stopped wearing Wearing them I would keep them okay so we had one thing from my dad let's go to the one thing from my mom you guys have seen this jacket a million and four times on my channel it is this suede fur trim jacket I don't really know what else to say about it besides it's perfect my mom gave it to me probably around five years ago and originally it was almost to my ankles it was so long so my mom is like six inches shorter than me so for her it was like at her ankles and I really liked the look of that but knowing me I wouldn't wear it as much as if it was like right below the butt so we actually took it in to get it tailored now I wear the absolute crap out of it like last year the fur trim was very in style or on trend and people or even like the last two years but people are saying like they're over it now and I get it when you see the same like fast fashion version of a jacket of course you're gonna be over it but I sound like a broken record my biggest tip always when following trends is to find something that is not only unique to you but also sentimental um, since that jacket's my mom's it's never gonna go anywhere for me whether it's out of style or not it just feels timeless to me because I think of my mom wearing it again like 30 years ago I'm like that's so cool that I'm here wearing it now and hopefully it's something that I pass on to my kids one day both of those items honestly all these pieces if you guys watch my videos you'll recognize them so the next thing we have is my favorite purse of all time it's this Harley Davidson leather like square structured tote with this kind of long strap um not like cross body long but i don't know this bag is perfection it holds so much which i really like it's perfect for like traveling if i'm going to like the city in chicago or when i went to new york to carry that bag all day so i know i have all my stuff i need like you know a phone charger deodorant <laughs> Um, whatever I can fit it all in that purse. I got that purse from Depop and I'm pretty sure it was $31 It's real leather literally feels so well made and I get so many compliments and questions on that purse from you guys And the only thing I can say is just search Harley Davidson leather bag and hope for the best Yeah, so all those pieces so far have been vintage. Let's do one more vintage piece and then we'll move on You guys would not be surprised <laughs> that I will never give away these cowboy boots. They are so effing cute. I found them on eBay like right when the cowboy boot trend was taking off and I got them for $40. They're Durango cowboy boots. So they're real leather. They're literally so nice quality. They're comfortable and the design is to die for. I have a couple pairs of cowboy boots and I can't say the same for all of those that I'd never get rid of them. I think my like plain black pair is another pair I would keep. If another plain black pair came into my life I couldn't say that I would keep those over another pair and that's kind of what I mean I always love cowboy boots and I think I always will love them so I don't think I'll ever get rid of them as a whole but I can't say for the other ones that like ones won't come in and replace them but these I can say that I get so many questions
questions about these cowboy boots so many people ask me if i do or where i got them and i really have rarely ever seen them on the internet again i've never seen them like on ebay again or depop or any of those things after getting this pair and i think there were one other pair i saw but they were like 300 bucks and they were this pair to me i'm like these are my prized possessions yeah when you guys do find them though like at the thrift store i think it's happened twice people will always tag me and be like oh my god like the laney boots and i'm like yeah like these boots if you see them get them they're so freaking cute even if they're not your size give them to a friend i could talk about these boots for hours i'm obsessed okay on to something that is not vintage but I think you guys still won't be surprised. It is this Urban Outfitters floral midi dress. Unless somebody gives me this exact dress again, I'm not getting rid of this dress. It even has a little hole in it from when Ernie was a puppy. It's still not going anywhere. I re absolutely refuse. I got this from Urban like five or six years ago. I got it and I was like, that's so out of my comfort zone. I don't think I'm ever gonna wear that. But it was so cute, I fell in love with it. And um, maybe like a freshman in college. So my mom bought it for me. And the material is so worn in and nice now. I love that it's flowy so even if I feel like bloated or not my best like I can throw this on and feel so confident and also just comfortable. I've been able to wear this through so many like weight fluctuations. I know that doesn't seem like something that matters but that's why it's stuck around for so long because I'm not the same size I was in high school but it still fits me so perfectly and I'm obsessed with it. A floral midi dress like they can be like trending and you know peak trend or like just whatever but they literally never go out of style in the summertime you can always get away with wearing a floral midi dress just it depends how you style it honestly like white sneakers cowboy boots um even loafers or doc martens i've done i've worn this every way possible it's literally my baby if i ever see it on like depop ebay or poshmark i'm gonna buy a second one to have like a backup that's how much i like it okay and the last thing i have isn't really just one item but i'm only gonna show one and <laughs> t-shirt or clothing Brandon has made me. You guys don't know Brandon's my boyfriend and he's been screen printing I think since like freshman year of college but he's been making t-shirts I think since high school. I can't really remember when he started making them but this one is one of my favorites. It's this little baby tee and it's got this like little girl with a strawberry head so i have a whole box in my closet of like all the old shirts he's made and even ones that like he made and he didn't like what like five years ago and i just threw them in this box because he was like i'm just gonna throw them away and i was like no you're not and so i keep them in this little box and i took them out not too long ago and he was so happy that i kept them all and i was like of course i'd keep them all why would i ever throw away like his art I don't know I love it so much and and these t-shirts are one of the most sentimental things to me in my closet I seriously love them so much and even some of them like maybe they don't fit me that well or they're not like my style anymore or I don't really wear them I don't know but I'm still gonna keep them forever and ever and ever and ever and there's so many that I do wear on a very regular basis I think a lot of you guys if you've been following me since the summertime when I got this shirt have seen it before but that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I had a lot of fun just thinking of what are my favorite pieces in my closet not much else for me to say make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you in a few days bye